What is going on guys? It's your boy Michael Z and uh, yeah this is a quick voiceover because the mic in the room at that time was very echoey and basically just me saying how this is the first episode of um, Deep Talk Society and uh, it's basically just a society where everyone comes together, share ideas and uh, nothing controversial just yeah hopefully you enjoy. So everyone introduce yourselves. Okay so oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'm on. What do I talk to? Just us. Hi everyone. You don't like them church support groups. <laughs> wow, Hi church everyone. I'm on. Hi Arnie. You know what oh. them was. Okay, um, I'm Arnie and I do astrophysics. Mm -hmm. I'm Kim and I do psychology. Hi Kim. Hi, I'm Laika. I do psychology as well. I'm Bernice and I do psychology as well. I'm Karen and uh, I do astrophysics as well. So today's topic, uh, we're just going randomly. Uh, we don't really have a topic. Um, it's just kind of spontaneous. So it's kind of like, a, anyone got any ideas they want to put forth? It's your mm. channel. True. <laughs> so, okay, how about, how about let's start talking something just, let's just ease it in. So let's say, um, Man, it's kind of hard when you kind of put on the spot. Mm. Um, can boy and girl ever be friends? Mm. Yeah. Uh, check my video. If you haven't seen that, check it. Link down below. I think they can. Yeah. Yes, they can. Yes. If you're mature enough, yeah. I feel like, yeah. If you're, yeah. Wait, in terms of mature, elaborate, like... Like, I don't know, there's this very sort of like... Early secondary school attitude where it's like mm. if a boy and a girl are talking, that's oh, yeah. like that, oh. people yeah. always rumors. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. guess so, yeah. Like you people. see you see a people, you see like a boy and a girl walking yeah. by, uh, mm. walking past you, you kinda of assume they're probably going out. Mm. Um, so that that's kinda of my question. It's like like it's like I have this thing, right? So I have this theory. Um, so um, either something happened before, before, and then they became friends, or they are friends, and then something's bound to happen. Okay. They can't be friends purely just friends for the whole so duration. All, okay, so all your friends that are girls. Yeah. <laughs> you had some sort of feeling. Yeah, you had some sort of feeling, or you're you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna have like a crush on this person. It doesn't necessarily have to be me though. It could be the opposite side as well. I don't know. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But then what you're saying that, but then like what if told people? I'm friends with him and you. Exactly. Mm. But do you think he, she's gonna have a crush on you? Are you gonna have a crush? No, on but her? maybe not now. Maybe not now, so right? But maybe, maybe, yeah. Eventually, like the duration of the friendship. Eventually, do you what, feel? What if your friend is taken? Exactly. That, no, but that doesn't count. Though. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. You know, that doesn't really yeah. count. And um, when I say um, not be friends, I'm talking about even something like small thoughts, like. Mm, He's kind of paying, like yeah. she's kind of paying, but like I don't know. Yeah, exactly. No, but it's like this is this is stop making me look bad on my own freaking channel. <laughs> but everyone against me. I can, like, I can see where you're coming from. Like yeah. it's natural to kind of be view of your friends and like, oh yeah, they're kind of like they're all right, but you mm. don't think about yourself like, okay, with my male friends, I'm like I feel like they could find someone so easily and it'd be great for them. I wouldn't think of myself. It's just, it doesn't work like that, it's your friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's your friend at that moment. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say you're alone for a long time, you've been single, and you kind of, I mean, we're all human, right? We have yeah. biological, like, fucking responses at times. There might be just one day where you're just like, hmm, like, maybe, like, me and her or me and him could be, like, a good suit, a couple. But then, <laughs> but then, but then I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to make the friendship awkward. So you keep that thought in your head, but you can never, you won't tell anybody. So when I say, can boy and a girl be friends, on the surface, oh, a yes. Yeah, it's a sticky one still. It's a sticky one still. If, if you, you're saying that, yeah, and you end up keeping it all in your head, yeah. and then eventually your friend who you kind of like, can't mm. believe, they go off and they get someone, that's just... No, but it's not, it's not to the level, it's like, no, no, because you, you, you don't, when I say keeping your head, it doesn't, Eventually it just goes away. Eventually you're like, I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna bother because I don't want to make the friendship awkward. So that thought just but slips then, away. Wait, okay. But you have that thought. You had that thought at one point. Yeah. Yeah, but do you know what I'm saying? How do you know if you 
actually like the person or you just like you like them as a friend that you know what I mean like that's like you like the company you got, you yeah, exactly. you the company or let's say that jealousy you could just be jealous like oh she's talking to another person whereas jealousy being like a boyfriend or like mm. liking person is different mm. how would you classify that you can still get jealous though if your friends are talking to other people that's what I'm saying yeah. that's what I'm yeah. saying so you can't really mm. no I think it's fair to say it's natural for people to be like oh my friend they're quite cool maybe like mm. consider it but I don't but for most people but I don't mm. think it's for mm. everyone Okay. But what's the percentage are we talking here? I'm thinking maybe 70 to 80 percent. That's still quite a majority That's a of people. Of people. Yeah. That's the majority of people that you're trying to say that who are male and female but they're mm. friends. Mm. But at one point they had thoughts maybe we could be more than friends but then they, mm. they suppress that feeling at one point mm. and they're like you know what I value the friendship more than Destroying it That's by making true. it awkward. Yeah. But but they won't they won't tell anybody. So you will never know. But then people ask. So you and them just friends? Yeah. Like, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna bait it out. Yeah. You know you're not gonna bait yourself out like that. Um, that's that's my point. It's like everyone at least once had that thought. No, you can't yeah, go. You can't go. Be, you can't. Mm. I have friends that are guys that I do. Think I would not like, like but that's you, but that's you. That's yeah. you. What if you don't know about the guy's point of view? So, if you're saying it would happen either way, in not the dynamic, yeah, yeah, so it's in, like the, it in a way, like so yeah, there's okay. there's either way, either either sex, mm, and it could be before some, something happened before, and then you guys are friends, mm. you realize nah, it's not gonna work, but we, we actually were friends material, or you're kind of like your friends, and then. I don't know, five years later or something, you kind of mature, both of you mature, you realize, ah, you know what, yeah. this person is actually like, good for me, you know what I'm saying, I could see them being being a girlfriend, a long-term wife, or whatever. Oh yeah, that's why there's that pact as well, you can make that pact, oh, yeah, well, if I get married by Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That is a thing. Yeah. So, you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. so, like, yeah, some people true. stop being friends before they even reach that point, yeah. they will never know, mm-hmm. like, they will never get to that point, so, yeah. So can a guy and a girl just be friends? I think if you look at like if we look at time not as linearly, but like as a astrophysics coming in and that, mm. as a timey wimey wibbly wobbly kind of nice. yeah. Hey, uh, comment down below if you know where that's from. Um, it's like everything's happening at once, different parallel universes and that. So some universes might go beyond. Five years and then they might like it, it, it's like it, it's gonna happen eventually, but that time frame is is not the same for every single. That's a proper theory you got then. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is some kind of theory that's like you always want to send attracted mm-hmm. to, like, to the, yeah a friend of yours from the opposite gender, mm-hmm. at least subconsciously. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. like, I mean, yeah, because you're, like you're attracted to that agenda. Yeah. Like, if you're if you're attracted to the same sex and you're not friends with the same sex, then. Yeah, that's a different story. But if you're attracted to the say, if you're attracted to the sex that you are friends with, yeah, you know, then, but frankly, I don't think you can ever. On the surface, yes, you can be friends, but after a given time, given hundred of years before you both die, like at one point maybe, <laughs> at one point maybe you guys have that thought. It doesn't. You guys don't have to execute that thought, but you've had that thought. Okay. Are we clear? All right. But if you guys don't agree with me, uh, let me know your opinions down below in the comments. Um, so yeah, any other topics? I've got one. Do you think there is aliens? Comment down below, right now. We would define aliens because bacteria on other planets can count. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Bacterial life, bacterial yeah. life. Then yeah. Yeah, I think there's more than bacterial life. Yeah. The universe is too big. Yeah. yeah. Like, True. it would be a bit of a waste of space. We don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> we don't yeah. want to be that honest. Like, yeah, yeah, it would be. Like, no one understands because you're humans. Like, we don't understand how big the universe is. Mm-hmm. It's just too big. Yeah. Yeah. We can put it down on paper. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Uh, uh, okay. Astronova. <laughs> so, uh, I follow Astronova on Instagram. Uh, it's these, to be these fair, channels. how would you think the um, planets would be like alive? Not alive physically, but like keeping it alive. Mm-hmm. But that would, that would just that would be assuming that the whole universe is re- 
revolving around us if we're the only ones mm. who are like in culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, no, it, it like can't be. It just say it, it, it just yeah. okay. So like we have a galaxy, right? No, 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 not even. Okay, this Earth. Okay, we have a planet. <laughs> <laughs> on this planet, right? And there's like different planets in our solar system. Mm. That's one solar system mm. in our galaxy. Mm. Our galaxy has billions and billions of solar systems mm, and yeah. that's one galaxy mm. and there's billions and, <coughs> billions, and billions, billions of galaxies and billions yeah. and like people, people billions. say that there's, there's no life on even one of them solar yeah. systems like that's, that's pretty sure. think, yeah this yeah. is yeah. is ignorance mm. like to be frank it's just it's pure ignorance it's just like there has to be Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mathematically, like I mean, um, if there's, I don't know if any of you guys heard of the the Fermi paradox. Yeah. Where is the no? The Fermi paradox. Um, it's like it's a, it's a formula where you all the factors come together, and then it, I, I don't really know specifically, but then you multiply all the factors, bacterial uh, life of planets, those planets that could harbor life, all of that, all multiply together. There's there's a lot of, there's a there's a big number that comes up and but then people are that's the, the paradox is if there's so many numbers of planets that can harbor life why don't we see any of them exactly. right and then but then people are say that there's so few theories are the universe is too big like we we don't like the light that travels is is takes a long time to travel from there's so many different theories. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we could. One theory is we're all like a simulation as it mm. is. Yeah. And we're all just like, it's yeah. just a simulation. Yeah. And they've created us in a way to, you know. Mm. Another theory is like, um, if they're there, then they're already looking over us, they're controlling it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. free will. Yeah. Free will question. Mm-hmm. Like, there's, do we have free will? Yeah, there's different. You know the presentation today, mm. Kira did hers on this. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there's different. Um, well, like simulation. No, no, um, that famous photos, but oh, right. there's different. I don't know, like levels. We're level one, which is we're only on a planet. Oh, you, I know you're talking about. You're, we're not yeah. level level one yet. We're level zero. There's different no, no, type of civilizations. Zero point seven five, but we're gonna. Yeah, be yeah, we're gonna be level one. Different type of civilizations. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Type one, type zero, type two, type three. Type zero is us pretty much type one is you have the ability to control your own planet mm. whether uh, harness the whole energy of the planet so type two is harness the energy of the star stellar mm. and then type three is galactic okay. type three if there's type three then i mean even if there is type three they do you think they can have like warp drives time machines and stuff like that yeah probably i mean yeah. by then if they can if they can harness the energy of the star they can do it for a black hole but There's some things are just. Too much uh, physics right there. <laughs> well, we'll do some psychology later on. Okay, we'll do some okay. psychology. I've heard of these theories, but I think that they were actually like something you were learning. Like. Yeah. We don't it's really know. It's kind of weird this. that they like classified something before it's actually happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's, it's a bit odd. You never know. They could be aliens saying, you just don't know. Yeah. They don't tell you that kind of They're, they're think, not going to tell I like, like everyone. The, the, that the more interesting thing is like that there's probably people on other planets who. Think no, they're the only one. Exactly yeah, 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 yeah. They're probably just sat there going like, oh, oh, we, there's no yeah, aliens. We're the only one. It's like a parallel universe. It's not, that, even, not even a parallel universe. Uh, just in this universe. Know, there's yeah. aliens that think they might be the only one. Like, yeah. like uh, Superman. Yeah, super, like Superman. Don't, if you don't see that there's someone else there, you're going to keep your name on Yeah. Yeah. Um, but do we have free will back to that topic? So do if, we have free will? Yeah. In a sense, yes, but it's controlled. As in, I can't run around right now in our in campus like naked if I wanted to. Of course you I can. Mean, I mean, I can. I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point is, my point is, okay. I can. I can, mm. but there's, there's consequences to it. It's yeah. controlled. Everything is mass control. Mm. You technically don't have that option because you'll be penalized. You, like, but what? So what? It's all because of the media, to be honest. Mm. The, the majority of the time. Media, mass control, like. Yeah. This. Mm-hmm. But you, that's why some people stand out. That's why some people get um, publicity in that way, you know. Then when you're thinking free will and autonomy, you're actually just talking about the actual ability to do it, not that you actually would. The fact that you're stopping running around campus naked is you being like, no, I'm not going to do it because of the repercussions, but you could technically do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like if you didn't give a shit about what's going to happen, yeah, you yeah, it. Yeah. 
but the yeah. yeah, but in your mind, it's like it's blocking you. Yeah. Because your mind is saying, oh, I can't do that because yeah. like you know that's a bit weird. I mean, and like so people and I'll be like you know taken away or some shit. So the power that it has on you is oh, I can ask you. It like blocks you, which doesn't. You can still do it, but do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it's morals. It has something to do with yeah. morals. No. But so okay, because it sounds like to me this is an oxymoron, right? Mm -hmm. You do, but it's controlled. Yeah. That to me sounds like oxymoron. You, you if it's controlled, it don't. It don't. But I that mean, means on, on your video right now, you could put like copyright music. If you if you didn't give a shit about getting a copyright strike, mm. you could probably do it. Mm. But it's like you so you have the freedom to do it, but you won't because obviously you don't want to get a copyright strike. Mm. You do, but you don't. It's just the same thing. But, but mm. like you, your mates have thought that you can't do it because of what would happen yeah. after. So in a way, you're controlled by that. You know. But that means I don't have free will because I'm like, bound not to do that. My point is, you have a bit of control. Yeah, you can do it, yeah. but you shouldn't. No, no, but no. My point, my point is right. It's controlled, right? Something controls me not to go out there, run around naked, the media, or whatever it is. All right, but it's more like okay. If I'm controlled in that way, then I'm not even going to like try to do the opposite. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if I don't even have the op option to do the opposite, that means I don't really have what to do it. Like stay home, but go out there and uh, run around naked. Yeah, you wouldn't do it. I think that's more of a fear of like humility. Yeah, but you can do it if you wanted to. Like, there's there's no one stopping you. Sort of thing. Like, no one's physically stopping you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Go from that. If you're talking free will, whereas, like, in your mind, you have no capacity to do it, or it's like something stopping you, like the law, or mm. physically stopping you. I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to bring like religion into this, <laughs> so I'll probably just pass on. Um, next topic. <laughs> uh, no offense to anybody that's religious, I'm just trying to keep this channel controversial, controversy pre. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so any other topics? I have all these video ideas from back in the day. Oh, what would you say to a younger self? Five years younger too. Or a message to a five years older. Oh, five years older. Five years older or five years older? Up to you. Uh, mm. Let, let's do one by one first. Right, let's do younger, let's do younger, let's do younger. Younger. Um, okay, let me not go. I need to think. I need to think as well. I'd say like, don't stress out as much. Like anything that's going on, it's not nearly like as bad as you think. Because mm. I think, I think we can all say that when we're younger, we spend a lot of time worrying about stuff that mm. when you look at where it got you now, it's probably not even in your life. Just live your life in it. Yeah, yeah just, okay. just live and stop worrying about it. Because life is short, you just got to think I'd say that and I'll say But then, like, mm. yeah. But then you still have to do the work, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the exact like, thing. Your characteristic thing, has right? been developed through life. Like, um, yeah. I would say don't be too narrow minded. Like, I don't know if it's just me, like my school, or whatever, but they were kind of like, um, you have to do this, you have to do all your GCCs, you have to do all your A-levels to get to uni and then if you didn't go to uni then you're kind of like not going to get the best job and stuff. Mm. And I mean, it's change? okay, but it's like, I don't know, I, I recently went back to get my A-levels certificates, right, and I just, I don't know, it's different, like looking where everybody is, it didn't really matter like if they went to college, mm. they didn't go to college or did they, yeah, it's yeah. kind of just like, I was so, as soon as I hit secondary school, I was just like, I need to do my GCSEs, my A-levels, uni, masters, yeah. PhD, like, it's not my It's just a chill. Jesus. Do more experience than your grades. Yeah, the people who didn't go to college, who did, like, jobs straight away, like... They have the experience. They have the experience advantage over us. Sure, we may have a certificate over them. Mm. But at the end of the day, who, like, what employer is actually going to care yeah, about that? Yeah, they want experience. Mm -hmm. So... Is the uni worth it? Check my check the other video link down below. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing that like obviously there's stuff that you can say to your younger self, but I don't really, I don't regret anything. Number one, if anything, I'd just say like live more or just like mm. just mm. have more like just do whatever you want to do yeah. because yeah yeah I'll I'll probably tell myself the same thing like I don't regret start anything. YouTube I tell earlier. myself to like not have done something yeah because mm. I've learned from it and that's made me who yeah. I am. Yeah. That's yeah. Made me 
more wet and more experienced, then why is it annoying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes to like time wasting and stuff, mm -hmm. like you just learn not to do it. There's mm -hmm. no change. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably I'll tell myself like start YouTube earlier. Don't let gum try, uh, rice gum take over that. <laughs> you should be the one. To fucking yeah. Anyways, um, how about five years older? Yeah. Like, where do you think you'd be five years from now? Twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be twenty-six. Oh god. But what would you think you'd be doing? Will I still be in uni at 26? No. That means you flop massively. Oh shit, no. <laughs> no, you do like master's and PhD and that. Yeah. But then there might be years. True. Unless no, no, the I can take a gap is or something. Long. Mm. Oh, almost PhD. PhD could. I think seven years. Yeah, yeah. no, no, it keeps oh, going. It's like, it's like going, two going. years added on to a master's. No, no, it's not, it's more. There's more. I think maybe it depends on your Because yeah, people yeah. were like 50 and they're still doing PhD. No. Because oh, that's true. That's physics is like seven years. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. It, depends what you, it depends what you want to do, basically. No, no, no as a non PhD itself. It's, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's long. Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Bless, Bless you. Bless you. Thanks. Oh. Mm, I'll, I'll hopefully, I'll be doing YouTube. I'll be traveling the world, vlogging and everything. Definitely want to be traveling the world. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. not, I want to be like stable. I would be surprised if I didn't even do my masters, to be fair. Because mm. yeah. I don't have much life experience. I have no choice. Like, I have no choice. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm so set on it, but I think I'm going to like do something completely out of my comfort zone, like go yeah. abroad and do a job. Yeah. Just do something. Mm. Travel, like go to America That's and just true. like stay there for a month or something. Why mm. America? I'm just asking because <laughs> like, that's yeah. the one of the places I'm thinking about going <coughs> migrating from YouTube California and that actually the weather and the the Armenians especially if you haven't like gone abroad me I haven't gone abroad like ever so I need to do that to, like, yeah grow. Mm. what about starting a family and stuff like that <coughs> see that's, that's, a, that's a sticky one Marvelous. still how old are you? I'm 20 I'm 20 you're going to be 20 I'm One. gonna be 25. I'm not even looking for kids right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I don't think I'll ever. I'm gonna have kids. 25. Yeah. That's that's why. Yeah. 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 25 is young to have kids. Yeah. I will have to 30. Be 30 to have kids for me. Yeah. Then you have to think about it as a girl. Yeah, you need to find someone. Yes. True, girls, you got you got. We have an expiry date, guys. Ask <laughs> 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 yeah, It's alright for you. <laughs> your 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 biological clock. Started taking as soon as you came out of the room. The room. The room. The room. I think some girls go for bad boys. Why do you go? Why do you go for? Go for bad boys. It's the excitement. Oh, it's. It's the thrill. Yeah. I don't know. They're kind of more attractive, I guess. Yeah. How comes though? It isn't intelligence. Attractive. I didn't have to explain it. It's like. It's, 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 it's like something you can't do yourself. Does that make sense? For me, that I feel like, oh, I can't do that, and then they do it. It's like, oh, it's cool. Like, it's, I it's like know. the image of like, like a motorbike, like leverage up. It's sexy, like. But that's that's not what I'm talking about. That's that's not technically okay. Yeah, that's so the bad boy. Talking I'm talking about a guy who's up to no good, chilling around. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, roadman, roadman, no, tears, no, isn't no, it? Roadman, no, tears. No, 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 no. I think it's part, it could be wrong. <laughs> but like, you know how like, when you settle down, people have this idea when you settle down, you find a good guy. Or yeah, good guy. yeah, but then I before think, that, you yeah, just you fuck about. Like, exactly, that's why, but I don't need to fuck But then you could get fucked massively. The thing is, you need to understand that, like, you don't want that life because you, you don't want your man cheating on you. Yeah. Like, every, like, no. Mm. Mm. But, then, <laughs> when, but then, like, say you fuck about and then you end up being pregnant. Exactly. That's your fault. <laughs> that's your life. That's mm. your business. <laughs> but then, I mean, you should not have done that. But, I mean, I mean normal guys. Happens, <laughs> but still, kind of, if but, your guy was cheating on you from day one and you should just stay, like, yeah. yeah. Bad boy, there's different. <coughs> you're, the bad boy you're talking about is like. Roadman. Road 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 but for us. Okay, not, like, okay, not all roadmen like that. Mm, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Don't come at me, bro. <laughs> Don't come at me. What kind of bad. Like just someone who's like first glance, you can tell they're they're not gonna be there for you As yeah. emotionally. Um, they have like commitment issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stuff like yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like they're not suitable for this relationship that you're looking for. They're bad. Come, they're bad in the sense of they're not gonna 
They're not what you want, if that makes sense. That's your thought. I mean, some people are lonely. Some people just like the idea of being with someone, not necessarily being with that person. But you can be with someone who will treat you nice, preferably not go out clubbing every single day, get wine on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's the sort of thing where like you always want something that you can't have. So like when you're in a relationship with someone like that, you kind of want all of that time, but you know that you're never going to get it. Like not all of the time anyway. Um. But if you're in a relationship with a good guy, surely you don't want to be with a bad guy. Mm. It's like... Oh, yeah, definitely. It's like, nice guys finish last, right? We've, 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 we've all heard that phrase and like stereotyped up. Yeah. There's no, it's, it's, yeah, it's, Find nice guy, because nice guy on the internet is different to what you mean by nice guy. It's just class. The guy has class. You feel me? Like, a class. respectful. Yeah, respectful, classy guy. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be rich. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be driving a Bugatti and stuff yeah. like that. Just classy, like the little stuff. He's little there. Thing. He's there when you need him. So um yeah, overthinking in like friendships. How like you know, um I know a few people who overthink. I actually I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm one of those people who do overthink. Yeah. Uh I do <laughs> I do I think really? everybody does. Everyone, everyone, everybody everyone does. does. Everyone. That's human nature, you can't not overthink. Yeah. yeah, but it's just like, you know when the overthink is not real, like, it's not realistic anymore. You know what I'm saying? You don't overthink to fucking, yeah. like, over there, like, you keep it. You always, to be fair, it's very easy to, like, jump to conclusions. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the trouble, when you rationalise something so much, like, you can rationalise something that's so, like, stupid. Mm. But then you don't know what they're feeling, you know what I mean? They could say, oh, they're overthinking, but then I, I think from what they experience, it's it's something more than you, what yeah. you think, you know what I mean? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, but then it's deep. It's probably because, like, I don't know, when it comes to friends or whatever, if, like, they think someone doesn't want to be friends anymore, they've probably noticed, or rather they think that they've noticed, noticed like, certain kind of changes in behaviour mm-hmm. sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But then the funny thing is with that, that other person could have just been having a rough time. Exactly, yeah. 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 So that's, or, that's or a like, bit of overthinking. Or like they've speed. experienced it too much. Does that make sense? Yeah, like often. too often yeah, yeah, yeah. and that like, it makes you like think, oh. But then there's a difference between overthinking. Oh, I think there should be, there is a difference between overthinking and intuition. If that makes sense. I like that's if you, you have intuition, like you turn to someone. When you overthink in order to prove what you're thinking is right, because you wanna you wanna see if you're right or wrong, right? If you're overthinking, you wanna I don't know how to it, like every little thing that might happen, you you will take that and put it as evidence in a way, and then oh, but it has to be right because like this happened. Even if it's a small thing, yeah. for you to like reassure yourself, do you know? Sort of. But then aren't you like judging other people by their actions? It's like, there's this saying that you judge other people by their actions and yourself by your intentions. You're not really looking at people's intentions. You're kind of just being like, okay, they're acting this way. They must think this mm, way. Mm, mm. It's not necessarily fair to do that because you wouldn't do that to yourself. You'd give yourself the benefit of the doubt. True, true, so, yeah. true. But then a lot of things, it's like, it's hard to not have that first impression. Though. You, you look at someone mm. and it's like, you can't, like, if they're like... Um, not really, it's it's... For me, it's kind of easy. I don't go, oh, she just, like, I don't know if it's just me in it, but I actually don't, like, it, I would make people, oh, that's such a BS, but, like, I don't go, oh, you know, judge judges people or, like, think of something for what they did or for what they do. But when you first look at someone, you have these thoughts. You I just say, thoughts. like, okay, cool, that's what she, that's what that person do, that's what that person do. Like, I don't say, Oh, that like you know maybe they do something and then you think oh that's what they do or that's what they are I don't do that I just do I just think like if that's what they're doing that's what they're doing that's their business not mine does that make sense you know what I mean? why their character yeah it's like it's why is it for me to think of it of something you know what I mean but, towards you or like yeah like their character so that it's not directed towards you but I feel like to understand 
like someone will need to communicate with them. You can't yeah, just exactly. Yeah, yeah communication is very key. Just like that. That's usually That's the start of our thinking. Is yeah. when someone's not communicating mm. enough, so the other person just assumes mm. nothing. Mm. 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 It's, it's not even that. <clears throat> Not even can you, if, if that person feels like that, then they should talk about it. They shouldn't keep it in and yeah. say, oh, I don't know, they might not like me anymore. You should, they should express that. But it's not easy for everybody. Yeah, like, yeah some, some people, people it's hard. Yeah. 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 For me, it's hard to actually say things and confront people. Yeah, confrontation. But, there, yeah, but there, there are... No, I get it, I get it. I'm like that as well. Mm. It's, but it's so, so where is that? Like, for people out there who are... Um, yeah, you know what, I'm actually going to legit turn this deep talk society into something that's going to help people. Um, but yeah, for people like, let's say for people out there who kind of suffer from confrontation with people who can't really communicate in that way, what kind of advice would you give them? Actually just talking to them. Yeah. But then it's, it's like the medium. Because if you text them, it's like... Yeah, yeah, you yeah. need to get out of your comfort zone. And once you do, it becomes easier. Yeah. I think it's just Which is true, that is really true. That talk in the first yeah. place. So like, I mean, it's not the best thing to do, but I think just if you're struggling with like getting into that conversation, text them and just be like, hey, listen, like, I need mm. to talk to you. But the thing is with texting, like, I've noticed this with other people, it's like, there's a lack of tone when you text someone. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. so true. That's rude. so true. That's yeah, you'll never like, know I'm not going to text them. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, you tell them that you need to talk. Yeah. And just, you're just actually talking in person. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like in order for the person to like, let like, come out of the comfort zone, I feel like you should ask or like, yeah, ask your friends about how to deal with it. Just because the way you think could be wrong. And the yeah. way you do it is wrong because like, obviously yeah, you're yeah, in that yeah, moment like yeah. yeah like if you're angry you're gonna take it in a bad way you know what i mean whereas if you ask your friend for help like oh how should i tackle this or like how should i do it you're gonna be more like open-minded and how you should do it you know what i mean it's like mm. confining it with other people could be then again more that's kind of dangerous because then everyone your business. business. But then you never know. They yeah. Can behind your yeah. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah. But like, it's always just the people that you trust with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like closest. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With my life experience, with my parents, it might sound pretty cheesy, but sometimes yeah. when you tell like older people, they mm-hmm. go for it already. Yeah, because yeah. they're probably already there for them. Mm-hmm. So. And some people could be, but then at the same time, as people could be scared to say it to other people. But then you gotta learn how to know who to trust and what to say to think to other people and what not to say to, to people like certain p- individuals you know but it's hard to like to find like to 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 be sure that that person is 100 percent not faking well like people are so easy to fake honestly how they i think are. it's just time like mm. your friends you find your real friends with time i don't yeah. think there's there's no like rule book and to know oh yeah your friend. friends come mm. through it yeah, just yeah. comes with experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you're never gonna stop it, so might as well just go with the flow and go with experience, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So and then use your intuition and not be foolish because you can yeah. like go with the flow and just be half friends. But yeah. It's like you need to no, go with which, your intuition. Which yeah, yeah, sounds good. Mm-hmm. There's just a limit to everything. Well, there's just a certain. So how do you how do you think about all those people who kind of like determine who they're gonna be friends with based on their star signs? No. No. I think that's foolish. I'm sorry. That's just foolish. No. It's not wise to do that. You can't. You can't. It, like like not every star sign. Is, like it's the same. It's not even that accurate. You know what I mean? Like when I look at like star signs, I'm, I'll be saying I I don't really relate to this. I don't think I'm this. So it's just like. Not even that. You can't base off what. No, okay. Like, yeah, how do you, how is the star, people, how the stars align going to affect you your personality? You put people in a group, you can't do that with everything. Like, if you yeah. want to be friends with one person, you can't treat them as if they're a group of people. Mm. You have to treat them as that person. Yeah, that individual. Yeah. You think of what they are, yeah, 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 yeah. you don't know them for who they are. Yeah. But there are people who do that, though. Like, it's, it's just, like, I don't, I don't want to say um, it's stupid. But it is. I, I don't know. I do think it's part of human nature. Because, mm-hmm. like, you're kind of used to putting people in boxes before you know them so that you can kind of not protect yourself, yeah. but kind of like get an idea of how they are so you don't have to waste your time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's human nature to kind of put people in boxes. But then I think that's actually kind of a good thing because mm-hmm. sometimes you'll have people that are like in one like box, mm-hmm. and then after a while you actually get closer to them. 
even though like they've been there the entire time, but you'll start to get closer to them, like something will happen. Mm-hmm. And then you'll go, oh, well, this person's actually really supportive, sort of thing. It's, it's kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. And after a while, then there's people you realize that aren't quite as like, that they don't have your back as much mm-hmm. as before they did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you kind of put them a little bit further away. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you guys for watching uh, this week's Deep Talk Society. Uh, thank you for everyone who showed up. Five of us, six of us. And uh, yeah, their social media and stuff will be down there in the link. And uh, make sure you subscribe and like this video. But yeah, till next time. Peace. <laughs>